Airtable is great for managing data, but what if you could scan a barcode that would open an Airtable record? In this video, I'll show you how to automatically generate barcodes from Airtable records, link them, and then actually use them. Hey there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com, and we help companies get set up and automated using industry-leading portals, apps, and integrations. I've already shown you how you can generate a QR code through Airtable, which is great for links and digital actions, but when it comes to real-world assets, equipment, products, stock, well, barcodes are more common and preferred. Today, we're looking at a system that automatically creates barcodes from your Airtable records, stores, links, and displays those barcode images and IDs, and lets you scan to search, update, or track in real time. We'll demo this in a product management system built in Airtable, but you can adapt this to almost any industry or workflow. So we're starting with a simple base for tracking products. In our products table, we've got the product name, current stock, the SKU or item ID, and this will become the value behind your barcode. We've got the stock level, barcode value or ID, and that's a formula field. And we've also got the barcode image or file itself where we'll actually store the barcode graphic. And we've also got product image and whatever else you need, supplier, location, photos, it's your base. Now, there are a few ways for us to generate a barcode and link it to an Airtable record. Firstly, we're gonna take a look at how you can do this with an automation tool like Zapier or Make, and then we're gonna look at using a run script step or action in Airtable automations. So basically, whenever we have a new product created in our products table, we want to automatically create a product ID. That's straightforward. It already occurs through a formula field, but we also want to send a request to generate a barcode image or a barcode file. This is what will be scanned for us to be able to register and track a product. Now, from here, we're gonna take a look at how this is possible through a platform like Zapier. Now, for this example, we've got a couple of steps here. We've got the Airtable trigger event that pulls in the new record or an updated record. Then we've got Malabe barcodes. I think that's how it's pronounced. And this is what is actually generating the barcode for us. And then from there, we just update that same record that triggered the event, the new record, to actually connect that barcode to the Airtable record. But as you can see from this process, we're actually adopting two new tools just to get this done. And when we jump on to Malabe, we'll be paying a price if we see ourselves generating more than 20 barcodes. And then, of course, if we jump into Zapier's pricing, we'll see that we're quickly going to hit the limitation and see ourselves also bumping up to a paid plan. So let's take a look at another process, another automation tool that can help us get this done, generating a barcode. But this time, it only asks us to adopt a second tool beyond Airtable. And this is through make.com, which is a similar automation tool to Zapier. I'm sure you've heard of it. Now, the difference here is that make actually has a built-in barcode generator. So we can watch for records using make.com. Once we receive a new product, well, then we generate a barcode and plain and simple, we just link that back to that same record. If you are already using make.com or Zapier in your workflows, then it makes sense to set this up. However, there is an easier way to do this. Now, we'll be using an automation and a run script action. Now, don't stress, while it might feel overwhelming, the run script action is actually really basic. And like always, whenever I create a script for a video, I'm going to include that on our automationhelpers.com website so you can go ahead and copy it. Link in the description of this video. So we're back in our Airtable base and we want to learn how we can generate a barcode and link it to an Airtable record. So we're gonna jump into our automations and we can see here that we've got the automation barcode generator. The trigger event is simply when a record is created and we of course have selected the right table, which is products. We don't need to include any conditional logic, but maybe you would like to do so. And then from there, we've included the run a script action. Now, again, this might feel daunting, but trust me, it's oh so basic. And that's because we're going to be leaning on a barcode writer that helps us with our JavaScript. Again, I have left this in the description of the video, so go ahead, copy it, and you can begin using it. But basically, we have our automation step or our action, the run a script. So if we jump into the code here, we'll notice that we've actually got a webhook URL we're using. And here we can see that we are passing over the value of the barcode. What is that? Well, that's the formula field that we have that generates the ID. So we're always going to have these two linked and connected to one another. Let's jump back into that automation. 
and we'll select to edit the code. And if we run a test, we'll see that the values being shared are the record ID and the barcode value. Now we'll see over here that we have our input variables. These are incredibly important and you will have to set them up. You can't just simply paste this script in and expect everything to work. Instead, you'll want to include a value for your record ID, which is the Airtable record, and for your barcode value or your barcode ID. You're going to need a value in your Airtable record beyond the record ID that we can connect to that barcode file. So here I created a new product. And if we jump into the automations, we then select to test automation. We select the record and it's gonna be this new record that we just created. And then we hit the run automation button and we patiently wait. And here we can see that you automation that your automation test has successfully completed. So we're gonna turn this off and we're gonna jump back into our database. And there we can see we've had a barcode image generated and linked to our new product. Now, anytime that we create a new product in this products field, well, a barcode is going to be generated and linked to that record. Now, if the purpose of you to generate a barcode is to open up a URL, well, you're watching the wrong video. And again, I'll point you to the video on generating a QR code from Airtable. Instead, a barcode is an identifier that allows us to better manage products or items. Now, there is one issue that you will run into because usually a QR code will be what you need to scan in order to open up a URL or an Airtable record. A barcode, well, that's going to be an internal management. So you could download a mobile app. I'll share those in the description of this video, and that will allow you to scan a code and then actually input your Airtable URL. But we do have a more streamlined way, and that is through a combination of Airtable and Fillout. Now earlier, yes, I did say we don't want to adopt a tool, but the great thing about Fillout is it offers a freemium plan. So you won't actually need to pay a dollar to set this up. Now, a quick tip is that if you are actually generating your own barcodes using your own platform or another one that you found, just ensure that they are a code 128, which is the most common and easily readable. Now, when it comes to actually scanning your barcode and opening up Airtable, well, that doesn't streamline itself as nicely as if we had used a QR code. Again, I will point you to watching that video if that is what you want to achieve, scanning a code, opening the record. But that doesn't mean we can't get it done with a barcode. There's just some extra steps. You will need to download an app that supports this. Now, I have left in the description of this video a bunch of tools you could download today and get started. But the process is quite simple. You're going to need to actually scan the code first and foremost, and then you can attribute a URL to that. You decide what that URL endpoint would then be and happy days. Beyond that, if you are generating barcodes that include an identifier of characters, numbers, or values, well, you could generate or create a form in either Airtable or a platform like Fillout, where that number is actually input. Now, if you are going to be using the barcode generator, I really want to know what processes are you going to use it for? What industry are you in? If you are looking for a more digitized code that enables you to scan and quickly open up URLs or edit and make changes to records, then I do suggest again, checking out the QR code video. If you need help setting up these or any other things within your business or automating parts of your business so that you can get more done, do not hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com where our team of experts are offering a free 30-minute consultation. So book yours today.